Donald Trump knows that he is polling terribly with women and his warped solution was to go on an epic gaslighting babble in a weird patronizing voice and the rally moment has been described in headlines as Trump delivers creepy new message to women voters in disturbing speech and Donald Trump's pitch to women is creepy abuser logic. And that word gets used again in the headline that reads creepy bizarre Trump gets hammered by CNN morning crew over protector of women rant. I will have that scathing CNN panel breakdown of his mega mansplaining in just a minute, but first, with the help of world-class Trump agitator George Conway, I'm going to deliver my own hammer. On his X-Channel Anti-Psychopath Pack, Conway publishes short videos to remind us of Donald's dark side, and I've mashed two of them up with those creepy Trump words from a recent Pennsylvania rally. Here's Jessica Leeds and Tasha Stoinoff to tell their stories on the other side of Trump's massage meanderings. I always thought women liked me. I had gotten on an airplane. The stewardess said to me, would you like to come up to first class? In the window seat was a gentleman who said that his name was Donald Trump. The airplane took off and all of a sudden Donald Trump started groping me. Trump said to me, I want to show you this beautiful painting, this beautiful room. He leads me to this room, pushes me against the wall and starts kissing me forcefully. But the fake news keeps saying women don't like me. I don't believe it. He was trying to kiss me and I'm trying to push him away. He, he was basically overpowering me. When he started putting his hand up my skirt, I got out of the seat, grabbed my purse and went back to my original seat. I tried to push him kept coming back at me. I was in shock and smothered and he had his hands here against my shoulders. I felt sick inside. I felt horrified and thank goodness the butler charges into the room. You will no longer be abandoned, lonely or scared. And I certainly was shook up by the whole thing. Two years later at this fundraiser, up comes Trump and his wife and he looked at me and he said, I remember you. You're that cunt from the airplane. Like many women, I blamed myself. So Trump turned to me and said, you know we're going to have an affair, don't you? And Melania was approaching. I was horrified. You will no longer be in danger. When the Access Hollywood tape came out, and also stories of many other women, including E. Jean Carroll, I realized I was not to blame, that he was just a predator of women. You will be protected, and I will be your protector. Donald Trump views women as, for his entertainment, he is a serial predator. He has said it point blank and he's done it and he will continue to do it women will be happy healthy confident and free what could have happened if the butler had not come into the room donald trump is an adjudicated sexual assaulter and we cannot elect this man as president anti-psychopath pack inc is responsible for the content of this advertising Trump's bizarre words at the Pennsylvania rally were actually about abortion rights, which makes them very cringe in a different but still dark way. And here's the highlights of the CNN panel calling him out for the creepiness and his ongoing challenges to connect with women. Trump, of course, tries to win over women and close the considerable gender gap in polling. Where would you like to start? Oh my God, where, there are so many places. Okay, first of all, I, I think Trump has no understanding of why he has a problem with women. Uh, first of all, this is like creepy, like bizarre messaging, but it's he's like talking at women, not to them, which is a problem that I think Republicans have across the board. It's like they think of women as this sort of other entity and they don't, he's not, that's not a message to women, that's talking at women, which, I actually think this is a message for men, not for women. I think what Trump is doing here is saying what he thinks men want to hear. It's, you know, he's trying to like double down on this idea of like alpha strength. So I actually think this is not intended to be a message for women. I think, you know, the Trump campaign has made clear that, uh, you know, winning men is a huge piece of huge pillar of their strategy. And I think that's actually who this message is for. I can't imagine a world where women hear that and say, this is a guy who understands things that I'm going through and would be a president with empathy for me. So I, I think that's him like tripling down on 
trying to win men. It's almost like this is an experiment, right, to see how large we can make this gender gap. Yeah. Um, it, in both uh, directions, well, by yeah. the way. Yeah, it, with and, men and I think so, but I, and I agree, you know? I agree with Kay, but it's not clear to me that they're picking up any male votes either, because who wants, you know, uh, there are only a well, certain type of men. the polling shows that men are breaking for Trump in a big right, way. Right, but only a certain type of men really wants to see that sort of patronizing uh, speech there, and right, guess what? There's a lot of they're, men that want to see that patronizing <laughs> speech Yeah, there, no, no, but that. guess what? It's he's, working. He's probably already got those voters. Right. I'll, I'll speak for a Republican. If we lose women by, more than by by more than we win men, we lose. And the same is true for Democrats on the other side. So you're, they're trying to climb out of this hole and doing it in just odd ways. Yes, odd ways indeed. And I cannot say this enough, but let's continue to let Trump be Trump. As painful as it is to listen to his misogynistic and racist rhetoric, as chilling as it is to keep hearing the stories of women and others who have been assaulted or somehow damaged by him, let's keep broadcasting these stories until he is vanquished forever. Kamala Harris is doing her part in capturing voters in spectacular fashion, but check out this real-time Google Trends data that shows searches for Donald Trump outnumber searches for her by almost two to one. He remains a lightning rod for attention and curiosity, and we need him to continue to be a tremendous partner in his own demise. I'm Dan. Thanks for watching, and let's continue to occupy democracy together.